Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Microsoft OneNote allows you to insert many other types of files, such as audio and video files. The process for inserting both audio and video files into your OneNote pages is the same. First, navigate to the page and then click in the area where you want to insert the file. We're working with a Windows 8 page that we made, and I think we'll go ahead and leave our cursor right there. That's where we'll insert our video file. Then click the Insert tab in the ribbon and look in the Files group right here. Click the File Attachment button. Now, if you're using version 2010, it's called Attach File. In either case, that will launch the Choose a File or Set of Files to Insert dialog box. And here we would navigate and then click on the file that you want to insert to select it. We're going to go ahead and insert a video lesson from our Windows tutorial, just the first lesson, so we'll give that a click to select it, and then click Insert. Now, when you do, an icon representing the file will be inserted onto the page in the location where your cursor was blinking. The icon is an object on the page, and just like with our other objects, it can be moved to a different location by clicking and dragging and then releasing to move it. Now, whenever an audio or video file is inserted into a OneNote page, a new contextual tab appears in the ribbon called Playback, right up here. Give that a click and that will reveal the three groups that we have to work with. We have Recording, Playback, and also Options. We'll look at recording audio and video files shortly. For now, let's take a look at the Playback group here in the center. The buttons in this group control the audio or video file you have inserted and the recording time here at the top will tell you how long the clip is. You have buttons to play, pause, stop, rewind in different increments, and also fast forward. However, you don't have to use the ribbon to access these controls. If you click to select an audio or video file, a small toolbar will appear with the same controls for easy access, and you can use them here. Now, if you're using a version prior to 2013, when you click to select the file, you might have to move your mouse up and to the right slightly to get that mini toolbar to appear. It'll appear faded out at first if you don't. Now let's take a look at the Options group over here. One interesting feature of Note is that you can take notes when you are playing back recordings or even if you are recording on the fly and OneNote will remember where in the time code those notes were taken. Later, if you want to see any linked notes that were made while the recording was being made, you can click the See Playback button to highlight those notes. You can also control the audio and video settings of OneNote by clicking the button of the same name in the Options group of the Playback tab in the ribbon. In the OneNote Options dialog box that appears, you can adjust any of the available settings if you wish. For example, when you are playing linked audio and video files, you can set OneNote to rewind from the start of the paragraph by a specific number of seconds. Let's take a look at that. We see that right here when playing linked audio and video files. And it defaults to 5 seconds, but you can change that to whatever value you wish. You can also change audio and video recording settings in this dialog box by using the various drop-downs that are available below. Finally, you can select the checkbox next to Enable Searching Audio and Video Recordings for Words. This is a neat feature that we'll take a look at later in the course. When you have this selected, OneNote will even tell you where in the recording the word appears. So later in the course, we'll examine this feature more closely, but essentially what will happen is that when you're searching 
for particular keywords, for example, you can search your audio and video recordings for those words. It's a really neat feature. But when you're finished with these settings, we would just click OK. We have our toolbar here, and if we wanted to play this particular video clip that we inserted, we'll click the play button. The video would start. We'll go ahead and close it. And that's how you add audio and video files to your OneNote notebook pages. In the next lesson, we'll be taking a look at how to actually record audio and video and insert that into your notebook pages as well. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.